Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 332. I'm Brad Hall, and today we're drinking Coca-Cola, past, present, and future. I like Coca-Cola, and I've liked it since I was a kid. I can remember my mom trying to pawn off the store brand cola on us kids, but we could tell the difference, even as little kids, and we wouldn't drink the stuff. My mom understood. We had a fridge in the basement that was always stocked with bottles of Coke, usually big ones. When I ventured out into the cold, cruel world after I turned 18, I pondered whether I should go with Royal Crown, uh, cause what's good enough for other folks ain't good enough for me, which I drank for a while, but I very quickly came back to Coke. To me, it was something that I knew that I'd always be able to get anywhere in the world. If life took me to foreign lands, there'd be Coca-Cola. In a long life, I've never had any trouble getting a Coke, and no one has ever, ever said, what's that? Of course, there was the new Coke scare of 1985, but that went away quickly. In my younger days, when I would walk around places like Los Angeles, I would stop in somewhere and get a Coke. There's never been a convenience store or a grocery that doesn't have Coke. I've been to restaurants that only serve Pepsi, and I'm okay with that, but only temporarily. I won't make a fuss and storm out, vowing to eat somewhere that serves food that may not be as good, as long as they serve a Coke. I don't drink as much Coke as I used to, but I do have some every day. It's an indulgence that I hope I'll always be able to enjoy in moderation. I drink it in a small glass, the way that they did back in 1922. This has been History Adventuring. I'll talk to you later.